Let's talk about installation of the WineGuardian split system. As we mentioned, there are two parts to the system. There's an outdoor or indoor condensing unit, and then there's the fan coil section. Let's tackle the fan coil section first. Similar to our ducted units, uh, this is an all aluminum construction, so it's relatively lightweight. But the fan coil section can be placed in a variety of locations, either underneath the wine cellar in a crawl space, in a mechanical room next to the wine cellar, above the wine cellar, um, or within the wine cellar. So planning beforehand is really key to a successful installation. You want to know where you're going to place the fan coil section before you start ordering equipment and before you start construction. Um, as part of the installation, as you know, uh, you could be connecting ductwork up to the fan coil section if it's placed outside of the wine cellar. So you want to make sure that you've covered where you're going to be placing your supply duct and your return duct and the placement of the supply registers or grills within the wine cellar and the return registers or grills in the wine cellar. You want to make sure that you get a nice even or evenly distributed air throughout your wine cellar. Typically we like to see cold air supplied at the ceiling and then returned down low on a wall. And the goal really is to create a sweeping motion of air from one side of the room to the next with the controller somewhere in between uh, to make sure that it is reading correctly, uh, the airflow that's, that is being generated throughout the room uh, being passed through the room and back to the unit. So placement of supply return grills is key to optimum performance of a wine cellar. So you want to plan that out beforehand. Uh, before you start the installation, work with your distributor to understand uh, your room, what's required, and uh, proper location of, uh, of these two devices. I want to point out that you can also uh, put multiple supply grills and returns in the wine cellar, uh, depending on the size of the wine cellar. Fairly large cellars may need multiple supplies and multiple returns in order for proper airflow uh, recirculation and placement. So keeping that in mind, um, you have the flexibility to uh, place duct connections at uh, here standard from the factory out the top, but you can move this to any one of the side panels. And depending on where this unit is located, you can move those that better suits the application and where it makes sense to, uh, to mount your duct work. Mounting this cabinet in itself, it should be level. Um, follow our instructions within our manual, but typically you want this cabinet to be plus or minus an eighth of an inch level from side to side and back to back. So it needs to be extremely level in order for water to keep flowing out of the drain and for you not to have any leaking issues, uh, water buildup issues. Now it can be mounted on a uh, shelf. That's an option. Um, we do provide shelving for these systems. Uh, it can be mounted on a platform uh, on the wall in a, say, a crawl space or a mechanical space, or it can be mounted above the ceiling where you could create a, a trapeze of sorts uh, to hold the, the base of the unit. Um, again, in each of those types of installation scenarios, the unit needs to be as uh, level as possible. Once it is in place and secure, um, you're going to make your duct connections for the return at the end of the unit and then wherever you choose to uh, make your connections for supply and it could be one location or it could be two depending on the size of your wine room and the amount of uh, the number of supply grills that you have uh, installed. Making the connection you can see the extended lip on our duct collars. We do offer flexible duct kits which allow you to connect to our duct collars both supply and return so you can purchase that flexible duct um, and uh, make the connections from the fan coil unit over to the wine cellar supply grills. Once the fan coil section has been put in place and your ductwork connected, you want to move on to your condensing unit. The condensing unit houses the compressor, your condenser, condenser fans, all of your controls for your refrigeration side, and you want to make sure that it's on a, a solid foundation that's, that's level and uh, provides for a good footing uh, that will last the test of time. Depending on the model, 
of split system you have purchased. The fan coil section is going to require primary power for operation and also the condensing unit is going to require power for operation. And that can vary anywhere from a 115 volt power source for our smaller sizes, our SS025s and 050 to 230 volt power connection. So you want to make sure that that power is available and the proper power is run to the locations of the unit prior to your, your start of installation. Specifically with a condensing unit, you want to make sure that you have uh, primary power to the condensing unit and you've got the controls all set up and ready to go prior to installation. Uh, local codes may require that you have a disconnect switch uh, close by and close proximity, so you want to make sure that you understand all those requirements. The split system really isn't for your do-it-yourselfer. Um, most times a licensed refrigeration technician is required for installation of these systems. So you want to make sure that you understand that uh, when planning out your wine cellar and that you have uh, contacted a refrigeration mechanic uh, so you can make sure that he understands all of the, uh, uh, the requirements of the Wine Guardian split system. The condensing unit uh, requires, requires primary power, but also requires connection uh, and control through our fan coil system. The terminal strip located at our main control board provides 24 volt control. Uh, this allows the fan coil system to talk to the condenser unit, condensing unit, allowing it to turn on and off as needed in order to control temperature uh, within the wine cellar. The contactor is provided as part of the wine cellar uh, system and it should be included with your packaging. So please look for that um, uh, when you receive the unit. The contactor should be placed in close proximity to the condensing unit and uh, uh, wired as per our instructions within our manual. Once the condensing unit is installed, your refrigeration technician will re be required to pipe between the fan coil section and the condensing unit, refrigerant piping between the two devices. As you can see, this is relatively small piping, but it needs to be piped in such a way that conforms to our instructions. We call for at least no more than 100 lined feet of piping between the fan coil section and the condensing unit. Keeping in mind the elevations in which the piping is going, um, no more than 35 feet of maximum elevation. So you want to keep that in mind as far as uh, your refrigeration technician's elbows and bends and, and how he's really piping the system. It really could affect the performance. Um, so our instructions really should be followed. When running the uh, refrigerant supply and return lines to the condensing unit, you want to make sure that the suction line is fully insulated along its complete length from the condensing unit to our fan coil unit. We also want to keep the horizontal and vertical distance between the two systems as close as possible to minimize any charge related issues. Once the refrigerant piping is complete, the system has been piped, evacuated, charged, it will go back to the fan coil section. Your contractor, you want to make sure that you connect your drain piping to the unit. The far end of the unit, you can see this, the clear plastic hose which exits the side of the unit. That should be taken to an open floor drain, an open sink. Condensate pump should not be externally trapped because it is trapped inside the unit. You want to make your connection with the controller we supply our 50 feet of communi communication cable with the fan coil section. Our control cable should be used, should be the only cable that you use as part of the installation. This can be purchased ahead of time if you're planning your wine cellar installation um, and your contractor is burying the wires in the wall. This can be purchased. Uh, we can ship this ahead of time. So they can place this in the wall and be ready for the Wine Guardian system once it arrives. Um, essentially, power cord type cable plugs into the back of the controller and at the face of the fan coil section. Either COM port will work. So we want to make that connection with the controller. If an optional humidifier is installed, 
you have your humidity connection right here, humidifier connection, swipe plug. And then your 24 volt connection at the terminal strip between your condensing unit and the fan coil section. It's now time to plug in the fan coil section to the appropriate power as per the design of the unit and turn the on off switch on. As with all of our Wine Guardian systems, you're, you're going to see about a five minute time delay between when you turn the power on to this unit and when it starts to turn the compressor on and deliver cold air to the wine cellar. That time, five minute time delay is adjustable, but it's there to protect the compressor from short cycling. You don't want this compressor to turn on and off rapidly because that will deteriorate the system performance. So um, five, after a five minute time delay, you'll start to see uh, the controller illuminate. You will see a high temperature alarm show up at the controller. Don't be alarmed. That's just because your wine cellar is probably uh, not at the 55 degree range yet. Anything over 65 degrees, which is a factory setting, you will see a high temp alarm call out. It's easy to, to clear out. Just hit the up arrow or the down arrow and it will take you to the main screen of the controller. Once the temperature of the wine cellar comes down past 65 degrees or below 65 degrees, uh, the high temp alarm will go off and uh, it'll start to drop down into the normal operating ranges of the wine cellar. 55 degrees is our factory set temperature. And uh, if you have a humidifier installed, it'll start to control humidity as well.